Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. According to latest media reports, the Arjun Mark 1A is presently undergoing its validation trial, and the Mark 1A will be an additional version of the tank, till the arrival of the Mark 2 version. This is a significant development in the future of the indigenous tank, as it shows that the Ministry of Defense is ready to keep on improving the indigenous tank. The DRDO and the Indian Army had agreed to accept the new upgraded Mark 1A version in the first half of this year, and the Indian Army is looking to procure 118 tanks. The Indian Army has already inducted 124 tanks of the first version in between 2010 to 2011, and a total of 93 modifications have been done to the upgraded version. The Mark II should be in the range of 65 tons, and this may require some modification in the hull of the tank. As part of the arrangement with the Army, the DRDO has promised to set up a system to maintain the indigenous tanks within India, and it will be an annual maintenance contract with Bharat Earth Movers Limited as a possible agency. The tanks have already done some 4000 km of run as part of the trials, and only the new upgrades are being tested presently. The Defence Technology and Trade Initiative finalised between India and US to jointly develop and produce futuristic systems and technologies, has failed to deliver any major concrete results till now, and its aim to transform the bilateral buyer-seller relationship, into co-development and production of systems still remains a pipe dream. India is currently evaluating the US offer, for a trilateral venture with Israel, to develop a futuristic infantry combat vehicle, and participation in its future vertical lift aircraft program, for developing five different helicopters. Meanwhile, a relatively smaller project to co-develop sealing advanced analysis systems, to track vessels and enhance maritime domain awareness, is close to finalization. The Pakistan Army is carrying out modernization of its armored regiments in a calibrated and time-bound manner, and it has drawn up an ambitious plan to procure close to 600 tanks including T-90 tanks from Russia. Pakistan aims to significantly revamp its armored fleet by 2025, and it has decided to procure at least 360 tanks globally, besides producing 220 tanks indigenously with the help from China. India has a total of 67 armoured regiments comprising mainly of T-90 and T-72 tanks, and have much more superiority over Pakistan's 51 regiments, but according to sources, Pakistan is planning to bridge the gap at the earliest, and over 70% of its tanks have achieved the capability to operate during night. According to latest reports, the Indian Air Force has selected the Indian Institute of Scuba Diving and Aquatic Sports for training its officers, after considering several institutes in the country. As many as 235 officers will be trained by the institute, and the training will be conducted from 3rd January to 29th of March 2019. The chairman of ISRO Dr. K. Shivan has said, that the space agency will build three GSLV Mark III launch vehicles and three crew and service modules for the Gaganyaan project, and building the modules and conducting various human rating tests will use about 50% of the budget, while a new launch pad will also have to be created. Each set will be used for three missions, two unmanned missions planned for December 2020 and June 2021, and the actual mission by December 2021 or early 2022. The astronaut selection and training will include establishment of new facilities, and will also take up a considerable amount of the budget. Oh, Mark, drop it.